here with Skippers Review TV. I am at the Palm Beach International Boat Show 2019 and I came across this alternative way of docking your boat while keeping it out of the water. And so I happen to be here with the inventor and supplier, Australian guy, Dean Howard. So it has been a pretty big hit in Australia. He just launched it over here in the last year or so. So what kind of response are you having right now at the boat show with this? And oh, describe what it is first. Oh, first. <laughs> uh, what we term it as an in-water dry docking system. What we've found here in America, a lot of HOAs and a lot of marinas have banned lifting systems for liability issues. You know, boats fall off them, people get hurt. So this is an in-water docking system. So literally you just drive your boat into it, pump up the back end and it pumps all the water out. So your boat is still supported by the force of the water, but your boat's 100% dry. So there's no risk of some of the water getting trapped in there and scum and mildew building up and then maybe even touching the boat. How do you know it's completely dry underneath the boat once you blow the rafters back up around it? So as simple as the end result is at the moment, it's taken our whole team nine years to perfect the whole thing. So every cut, every seam, every little design cue, the position of the pump housing, the way the pump housing even faces, all works together to make sure that um, all that water gets pumped out. So when your boat's in there, you know that your boat is, is automatically 100% dry. So this is an inflatable system. What if I get a hole? What if I get a puncture? What kind of warranty comes with it after you get it? Yep, so uh, the, the product comes with a three-year warranty. Uh, holes in it. We get the material flown in from Israel. It's one of the, the toughest polyurethane alloys you can find. So it's really hard to do any damage to it. But if you do manage to do some damage to it, we have service teams with mobile welding guns. We can come and quickly weld a patch on there on site. So easy fixed. So it's been a big hit in Australia. Um, how long did it take to take off there? Yeah, so it was, it's been a very interesting journey. So, you know, in those early days of R&D, it was, um, you know, we were running around selling one a month. But at the moment, we're selling hundreds in Australia, and there's marinas now with, with 30 and 40 percent of the boats in those marinas in fab docks. So it's become a, just, just standard now. So if you're buying a boat, we get calls all the time, Dean, I'm about to buy a boat, I need to get my fab dock lined up so when my boat arrives, my fab dock's already there, so it goes straight into it. So what we're trying to do is eliminate any need at all for anti fouls and bottom paints for numbers of reasons, the main one being environmental reasons. So it's a highly toxic poisonous substance. So if we, every boat we get into a, into a fab dock is another 50 pounds or more of poison, now not going in the world's oceans every year. And avoiding uh, bottom painting your boat. So fab, I presume being short for fabulous, <laughs> right? Fabulous dock. Um, so what basically this is replacing is a boat lift, um, if you don't have a place necessarily to dock your boat, can you just moor this and then t put your boat on it or how, how does that work? Yeah, great point. So definitely uh, for any sort of marinas at all, uh, it works in any sort of marina situation, but also in moorings. Uh, it's, it's probably the only uh, docking system out there that's, that's 12 volts. So you can actually just run it straight off your boat batteries via a solar panel on your roof. So, you know, again, the eco-credentials, the fact that it's solar powered. So if you're in a, in a bay somewhere and you've just got a, a swing mooring or, or just a mooring buoy, then definitely tie this to that and your boat's swinging out in the mooring completely clean and dry. Awesome. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thanks very much for your time.